Hey guys, somebody wanted me to do a video on my hair stuff, but I'm going to break it into like different segments because I could be here talking all day and as you can see, none of my videos are that long. So we will start with shampoos. My shampoos that are staples right now is my Aveda Sap Moss Shampoo. Um, that shampoo I kind of just use like it cleans really well, it smells really good, it's supposed to be moisturizing. I'm pretty pleased with this shampoo. Um, but I probably would not repurchase it. it. It's nothing wrong with the shampoo, but as we get on to the review, I'll tell you why. I probably will not repurchase. But I'm not dissing this shampoo. It's excellent. So um, it doesn't make my hair feel stripped when I use it. So this is my shampoo. I've had it for about six months, and I still have a lot left. It's pretty expensive, but it lasts pretty long. Maybe $10, $15, I think. My other shampoo, so after I use the Aveda shampoo, then I use this Victoria's Secret um, Nourishing Shampoo, So Sexy Shampoo. This is also a very moisturizing shampoo, so if you don't have money for Aveda, they usually have these um, Victoria's Secret hair products, three for $21. It's, the reason why I use it is because the sap moss smells very nature-y. And I'm not a nature person. I like girly scented things. So the So Sexy um, adds scent back to my hair because it smells really, really good. So that's the main reason why I use this. It just happens to also be a good shampoo also. For um, when I need to detoxify, I use this Avia Hair Detox. I don't know if they still have it, but this is like something I would use maybe once every two, three weeks if I have a lot of product build up on my hair. So this is another shampoo that I use rarely. It really strips your hair, so I wouldn't use this as a regular shampoo all the time. But this is also a good shampoo, really gets all that gunk out of your hair. Now for my conditioners, my staple, my very, I love this conditioner. Um, I would recommend this conditioner. It's from their Smooth Infusion line. Their Smooth Infusion line, I think, is going to be my staple. The conditioner, and the reason why I'm not going to repurchase that moss is because I'm going to buy this Aveda Smooth Infusion Shampoo as soon as my sap moss runs out. That's how much I love it. It really, I'll just leave it on my hair for like two or three minutes. And it just really makes the whole hair feel smooth and like slippery and coated but not gunky. I don't know if that makes sense. Not frizzy, just nice and silky. That's the best way I could describe it. I've never tried the shampoo, but if the conditioner is anything like the shampoo, I think the two together would be awesome. Um, and then for conditioner, I use the So Sexy Nourishing. So I'll use this one and set it on for two to three minutes, and then I'll put it on this So Sexy Conditioner. And I just use this mainly for the scent, but this stuff is very thick and very moisturizing also, so you really don't need the two if you can't spend a lot of money. It smells very good. I mean, like, my husband is smelling my hair when I use this stuff. So it works really good and it smells really good. So those are my top shampoo and conditioners. I'll do little segments so you'll get like a little hairy series. The other thing I want to mention is for people that really, really don't want to spend a lot of money. There are two budget um, shampoo and conditioners that I try and I really love and they are by Silk Elements. You can get it at Sally's. It's called Silk Elements. And it comes in a tube kind of like this. It's shorter and fatter though. And it's about this color. I wish I still had it. It's like a pearly beige color with maroon writing on it. And it's a nourishing shampoo and a nourishing conditioner. So those I think are like three or four dollars a piece. So that's another option. I hope you guys can remember. Maybe I can find pictures on the internet and add them to this video so you'll know what I'm talking about because it works just as well. And my last disclaimer before I um, um, let go of this video is that 
the, all the stuff that I use is really moisturizing because my hair gets really dry. So that's why my hair care is centered around bringing moisture back into my hair. Another thing is on the back, I don't, I'm not the very natural type person. So I don't go around saying, oh, cones are bad for my hair and blah, 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 blah. I just use what works. So if you're a real natural person, you might want to try the Aveda stuff. But I'm not that type of person. I just use what works for my hair. So if you have any questions, just comment. All right, peace.